Hi, Adam Bazalgette here, founder of Scratch Golf Academy. Today's subject's kind of a tough one, what to do when you've completely lost your golf swing. It can happen to us all, it certainly does happen to us all. I'll give you four strategies that I think will really help you if you'll put them into practice. If you're new to the channel, or if you've watched the videos before but haven't subscribed, I'd really appreciate it if you'd hit the red subscribe button. Helps us build momentum here at the channel, get you more free content, get in touch with you and try to help you with your games. Also, there's a little bell there. Hit that and you'll be notified every time a new video comes out. So what about this business of losing your golf swing? It's happened to me countless times and I've no doubt it's happened to you. Hey listen, we can all hit the ball badly in stretches on the driving range, but you rarely feel that you've really lost it there for any substantial period. As much as anything, you just keep hitting and find some sort of timing and get some kind of decent form going again. So it's out on the golf course that we typically feel that we've lost it and there's legitimate reasons for that. We don't get to hit as many balls as often. You hit one ball, you sit down for a couple of minutes or walk to the next shot, then you might be putting and then you hit another. It's more difficult to time things when you have big gaps between shots. Secondly, there's just the natural pressures of being on the golf course, self-imposed for the most part I might add, but we're all human. None of us wants to look like an idiot out here we want to play well in front of our friends so those are factors that make it a little bit more difficult I can tell you though for a fact your brain has not deleted it has not forgotten it it's just that you can't access it or access it in a good fashion at that time I'll tell you something else as well I can promise you this to be true your swing when you're playing pretty well and when you're playing really poorly looks about the same I promise you that So my first thought for you when you're losing it out there on the golf course, subtract, don't add generally. What I mean by that is don't start piling in too many thoughts and too many ideas. All that does is excite and wake up your conscious mind. Remember, you really haven't forgotten the golf swing deep down in your mind. You just can't time it and find it. You just can't access it. So the freer your mind is, the more likely you are to get some sort of form back. Just go off to the side and make practice swings, clear your mind, kind of get a feel for what you want to do without any thoughts in there. And as I say, generally subtract, don't add too much. Okay, my number two, generally pay attention to tension and tempo. Tension usually ruins tempo, but when your tempo is out and you're tight, that's when your timing goes away. That's likely a big part of why you've lost it a little bit. Let me hit one shot, see if I can find mine here on camera. Rehearse it a little bit. All right, nice and relaxed. That was a pretty decent swing there. Next thing I would do, number three, and that is put your attention, if you're going to think of something, don't just go to some abstract swing thought, you know, keep this arm straight, shift my weight, there's about 10,000 of them. Put your attention a little more to what's needed. I hit a pretty solid shot there, but maybe you're picking the ball a little too much and thinning some shots. Put your attention to something that's a feel for hitting the ground a little harder, trapping the ball more. Maybe you're just leaving the ball out to the right. Put your attention on snapping the club face closed. In other words, something that a little more relates to what's needed or maybe what's missing relative to the shots you're hitting. All right, a final tip here, and this is an important one. Every one of us has tendencies. My tendency is to tilt a bit and get my hips sliding this way. It's rare that I'm playing poorly that I'm not doing something like that and there could be a few different outcomes and I do that so know your own history when you're struggling go to what you've typically had a struggle with and find some of the cues that have helped you in that area in the past now friends will often want to give you advice on the golf course when you'll notice it happens when you're struggling they're, they're trying to be helpful almost always but it generally isn't helpful especially if they just kind of pick something out. Hey, you know, I'm watching you. I can see that this is happening or some, some such thing. That's usually not what's actually happening. It's not that helpful. But if your friend knows your swing well enough and they've played with you a lot, and they say something like, hey, you know, Bill or Jane or whatever your name is there, you know that thing you tend to do such and such that you've been working on? Kind of looks like you're doing that again. That would be a useful reminder. So go to what's historically true for you. Pick out those couple of keys that have worked in the past and just hang out there with them. Make your practice swings and let it come back. Don't force it and jump all over the map with things you're working on. Well, I hope that was helpful for you. would really appreciate it if you liked the video. Hit the thumbs up button. Gives us a little momentum here at the channel. Help us bring you more content. 
And of course, I hope this helps you with when you've completely lost your golf swing. It will happen to you. If you put these things into practice, you'll have your best opportunity to battle your way out of it.